Hey everyone. Hey Max. Hello everyone. We have a new release. 1.40. It's a nice number, isn't it? It is. So what's new? This is actually really, really cool. But before we go into what's new, uh, let's have a little tip of the day. Max, what's our tip of the day? Our latest tip of the day is lint your tests. So we recommend using ESLint, especially like using TypeScript ESLint to lint your test files. And especially like the TypeScript ESLint no floating promises rule is really helpful to find missing awaits. Like we saw that a lot of users forget sometimes their awaits and then the test behaves different to what they expect. Like they usually get like a page cloaks exception or something else is happening. So when you, you use this rule, you will always see, oh, there's a, a weight missing. Mm. I would never, ever have thought to lint my tests. That's a great tip. OK, cool. Thanks for that, Max. Let's go on to our agenda. Oh my gosh, test generator update. We can now generate assertions. Yes, amazing. We got some miscellaneous stuff here. We got Node.js version 20, new LTS in the Docker image, and new browser versions. But let's just go straight into this cool feature, the test generator updates. And uh, let's do a demo. It's the best way to kind of see how it works. So I'm in VS Code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically record a new test. OK, so before you could do all this, you could record a test, right? Uh, clicking in here, for example, we'll search for an Xbox and we'll press enter. And if we go back to VS Code, we've got our test starting to um, basically write itself, right? That's all pretty much the same. But now, now is the cool thing because now I want to make sure that this one is actually on the page. So I can choose, and it tells you here, assert visibility, right? I've got assert text. And I've got a certain value. So I just want to make sure this is visible on the page. I can click this and I click that. Now, if I go back to VS Code, it's basically saying um, expect the page, get by role, image, name. And if I scroll across, you can see to be visible, right? I've got my assertion in there. This is amazing. Nice. So let's go and add it to the cart or uh, click on the image first. Now we've got this page, right? I can again, I can assert that that's there on the page. I want to do something a little more fun. I want to make sure there's one because you know I can't afford more than one for the moment. So I can use um, the assert value here. So I'm going to do the assert value. And I'll click on that, and you can see it's highlighting underneath what I want. And now I'm going to click on two because playing alone is no fun. So I'm going to click on two, and now I want to assert that that value has changed on the page. Now, if I go back to VS Code, you can see here, I've got my locator filter, the quantity, get by role text box to have value one, to have value two after I've clicked the plus sign. How cool is that? Nice. Right, let's add it to the bag, right? We've added to the bag, so I'm clicking. That's just a general assertion. And you can see there's a little one up here. I want to make sure that that one is there. So let's click on this one, the assert text. I'll go over and I'll find that one. Now look at this, this is a new little box here. And it says assert that the element contains the text. And the text is one, right? Now if I change that to two, you can see the red box around that. It's kind of saying, hey, that's the wrong, this is not gonna work, this is gonna break. So two is wrong, uh, four is wrong, but one, because one is the right, um, element, the right text, right? So once we're happy with that, we can click on the green little arrow there. And then we've got this added in here. Await, expect, page, get by label cart to contain the text one. So now I can click on that cart. I can see that this is in the cart. I can again check the visibility, make sure that that one is in the cart. I can then remove it because it's actually really expensive. I'm going to wait for Black Friday. So we'll remove that and then we can, again, we can do one of these and check that assert that the element contains the text, your card is empty, that looks good to me. Accept that, go back to my test, I can finish the recording and wow, look at that, that is insane. Like my whole test is written for me. I can literally 
press play and it's going to run through and run that test. That was an awesome demo, Debbie. And how was it like before? You always had to write us the uh, expects manually, right? Yeah. So before, if you ever watched any of my videos or talks, you like literally, I always used to say, now you got to manually go and add in that expect and add in your assertions. And like you had to go back through all that code to kind of remember what did you want to assert? What did you want to check? And then you might forget. Or it's just like a lot of work. Whereas here, like it's just all done. Like this is really now your test has fully written for you. And I mean, of course, there are more assertions. We're only like asserting those three. There are more assertions that you will use and you can manually add them. But this is really, really fast way of getting up and started and getting a full test written in like seconds. It's so cool. That's great. Another thing I want to show you, Max, is um, get by label cart, right? I'm going to break this test. Let's just like get by label bag. We'll run that test, right? And it will fail because I just wanted it to fail. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and when when you like have a failed test, what do you normally do? How would you debug this, Max? Depends where it is failing, right? But like locally, probably I would use UI mode. Yeah, I'm going to stay right in here. Like, the UI mode is good. But I'm just yeah. going to show you a really quick way. So you have um, like show browser selected, right? So if you I go back, browser, to, yeah. you could see a browser probably. And maybe yeah, just hover over get by label. Yeah, so it's giving me like all, all this error here and it's saying get by label bag. And the, the problem is this get by label bag, right? This locator is giving me a problem. So I can use the pick locator. Oh, true, yeah. See now, look, this is kind of, I'm not recording. I don't yeah. have my assertions, but pick locator is highlighted. And I can literally just go along here and it's going to say get by label cart. And I can click on that. It's now in VS Code up here. Oh, and cool. I can literally copy it and put it in my test, change it. And uh, and then I can basically run that test and now it's going to pass. So it's a really nice tool, the test generator, the pick locator. It's all kind of in the one. And it just helps you um, really just get your tests written really quickly. And if there are any errors, you can go through and kind of fix them really, really easily too. So yeah, that's my demo. <laughs> it's so cool, <laughs> isn't it? That's nice, yes. So let's just have a little recap. Uh, the test generator recap, right? You can record your user actions just like before. Um, you're pressing record. You've just got this new little toolbar. And um, you can move it to the right or left if it's in the way. And then we've got the assert visibility. So if you want to make sure something is visible on the page, you click that little eye icon. And then you'll see it's kind of now blue highlighted. And you can click on that area. And that's going to add your assertion for you. You can assert to contain text. This one will give you an actual box where you can write and you can change that. So if you wanted something bigger or smaller than installation, you can play around with that and click the green uh, check mark when you're ready or X if you're like, no, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Assert tool, which generates to have value. So it's making sure the input has a specific value and that generates that. And of course, pick locator, um, so you can easily find the best locator for the element. I don't know. I'm super excited uh, about it. I think it's really, really cool. Max, what do you think? It's amazing, yeah, especially that you can use all these features also when like using Cochin with the CLI. That makes it also easy for our Python users, for example, right? They can do exactly the same, and they will get a PyTest test back. Exactly. I use VS Code, but you could use it through the CLI as well, correct? Yeah. All right, so you gave like a test generator update. Let's continue with the rest. So in our new Docker image, we now ship Node.js version 20, which is the new LTS. And last but not least, in every release, we update browsers. So you always have the latest Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit to test. And yes. how to update Playwright, you will see it on the right side. So yeah. Exactly. Make sure you're always updating Playwright. Really important. And of course, um, if you want to check out, you make, make sure you're reading our documentation. Um, if you want to follow us on all socials, Discord, uh, we have a great community on there. We do happy hours on there. Uh, there's a great help channel. Share your articles and videos that you're writing and creating. Follow us on X. And uh, of course, file any issues or bugs. We'd love to hear your feedback uh, for this feature. Or if there are any bugs that we've missed, uh, make sure you let us know. I'm really excited for you to try it out. And um, yeah, this is so cool. So. Have fun and happy testing. Thanks, Max. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.